arts editor for Hub Culture. Welcome Suzanne Mateo. Uh, she is the director of development for <laughs> Lawyers for Children. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Please let us know a little bit more about Lawyers for Children and what sure. the mission is and your role within it. Yes, absolutely. So thanks for having me. Um, we are a nonprofit serving uh, clients in all five boroughs of New York City. We were started. We started in 1984 to protect children in foster care. Um, children who are placed voluntarily into care are often the children that um, fall through the fall through the gaps. There's typically no one there to give them a voice and to really be able to advocate for them as to what they need to get back into a home or find a new loving home um, and ultimately transition to independence when they turn 21 um, with somebody in their corner. And so Lawyers for Children was started by our executive director, Karen Friedman, um, in 1984 to do just that, um, you know, step in and be an advocate for children who really need it. Wonderful. And how many lawyers are there that are involved? Yeah, we have, so we have a really cool model where we have uh, an attorney and a social worker assigned to every case. So we have in total 65 uh, employees, so that's including social workers and attorneys. Are there any particular stories that stand out, um, any cases that you would like to share with us that can help shed yeah. light on um, really what you guys uh, stand for? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so we were actually, we're, we're very proud of the fact that Robin Hood has been a supporter of our work. Robin Hood, great. The Robin Hood Foundation. Um, and. Uh, on our, on our behalf, uh, one of our clients, Demetrius, accepted um, the 2015 Heroes Award. And he is somebody that, like most of our clients, uh, was voluntarily placed into care, meaning that his mother couldn't care for him and his brothers, um, and thought that she was you know, doing the best thing to try and help him find um, a forever home. And unfortunately, instead of finding that, Demetrius was bounced from one home to another. Um, his name isn't actually even Demetrius. Um, one of his foster mothers gave him a new name, um, did not treat him well, and mm -hmm. throughout the trauma of being moved from one home to another, he you know, started to act out and really didn't have anyone there to advocate for him, to identify some of the issues he was going through. Um, very long story short, he, you know, he was able to get connected with Lawyers for Children. Uh, we took on his case when he was a little bit older in his teens, and um, having somebody that could advocate for the proper educational support um, to be able to, you know, engage him in a way where he was starting to get serious about school, um, to help him find a family that would care for him and, and a family that we felt good about. Um, now we're so happy to say that he has interned for Senator Gillibrand this summer. He was accepted to NYU. Um, he started classes this fall, and he's about to be adopted by a wonderful couple um, who lives in Manhattan. And you know, his life could have taken a very different turn if Lawyers for Children wasn't there. Right. Well, I would love to continue to follow your efforts Certainly. and to maybe perhaps somehow help in, in some way. And hopefully Hope Culture can be a platform to spread the word and, and help kids in the future. That would be wonderful. We are very excited to be a part of uh, Hub Culture and to be at this event. And um, you can see more on our website, www.lawyersforchildren.org. Lawyersforchildren.org. Yep. Thank you. Thanks very much.